What's up YouTube? It's Power Blast X here, back at it with another video. And today, I wanted to show you my failed attempt at getting Windows Vista working on modern-ish hardware. So this is a Dell Latitude 5500, a Dell Business Class laptop from 2019. And right now, I tried a Windows Vista extended kernel ISO and it failed. As you can see, in safe mode, it shows a red bar at the top, which is a broken BSOD. So. Yeah, so then I tried slipstreaming custom drivers and using a fresh stock Windows Vista SP2 ISO. And now it's the next day and I'm in a car. Just ignore it. I just, I was just in a road trip going to Schaumburg. From Chicago to Schaumburg just for fun. It was like, it was Thanksgiving break, November. So, a week off school. But anyways, going to the boot menu now. Trying to boot off this ISO. I made it off the USB. Um, but yeah, this is pretty modern, HNI7, EOSG620, Radar 540X, 16GB of DDR4, USB 3.1, NVMe, UEFI Cluster, you name it. So right now we're booting to the installer, this uses a Windows Vista, um, I installed a Win, but the actual, uh, PE is Windows 7 PE, that's why I booted into this setup, because the setup uses a Windows 7 setup. So as you can see, um, I'm going to be trying to install this. It uses the Windows Vista setup, but the Windows 7 pre-installation environment is being used. So, yeah, this isn't Windows Vista yet. This is technically Windows 7, but the install that WIM is a fresh stock Windows Vista SP2 with Slipstream drivers. And as you can see, my NVMe drive is showing up, which should, which is good to see. And now we're installing. As you can see, it was able to pretty much finish the installation without any issues. So, yeah, now it's going to be restarting pretty soon. Here's a view outside of where I'm currently at right now. And now it's restarting. So let's see if the install.wim worked. And let's see if Windows Vista will boot now. So far, Dell logo. So far, it's booting fine. And now, turning the boot manager, Windows Vista is showing up. Yeah, I guess I automatically clicked enter, and look at that. It's a super glitched boot screen. That's actually the Windows Vista boot animation, but it's really, really glitched. But now the screen went black and yeah, it's broken. It's not booting at all. So I try going to Ventoy now and opening up the um, EFI shell. And in the e UEFI shell, let's try copying UEFI 7 to it because Again, I only copied UEFI 7 to the installer, not the Windows 7 installer, not the Windows Vista. So I tried doing that, and now let's see safe mode to see what files are being copied. So UEFI 7 is now present on the EFI partition, so that hopefully helps with something. As you can see, we just crossed that intersection. We're like, I think we're like around Lincolnwood or Niles we're in. CRC disk that's this, that's where it stopped. That's normally the last loaded file before it's supposed to like boot up. Normally Windows Vista CRC uh, disk is the last loaded file before it like does something. But as you can see, it's right now it's getting stuck and yeah, it's not going anywhere. It, it was just stuck out here for a very long time. So I rebooted and just tried, um, Disable automatic restart, or actually no, driver signature enforcement. And now as you can see, the super glitch boot animation again. And then the screen goes black and it's another fail. 
So, restarting again. Start windows normally. Just trying this out again. Super, super glitch boo animation again. And another fail, yup. Failed again. So I booted back into the PE environment. And this time we're going to be trying out Flashboot Pro, which is like an alternative EFI loader. So I click Windows Vista on Flashboot Pro, start Windows normally, and it's just a black screen. Absolutely nothing shows up. So I tried some commands with may help maybe. So I just tried that and yeah, I got stuck at that screen for a while again. So another fail. After almost an hour of driving, we reached Ikea Schaumburg. I guess Ikea Chicago, but... This is not Chicago, this is Schaumburg, Illinois, but yeah, we're now at Ikea just for fun. After I got home, I decided I was going to try another method, so I was going to try CSM ISO. Wrap, which is a legacy layer for your USB Class 3 systems. It's like a legacy bootloader. Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot to say, I forgot to change the MBR. that don't support CSM yeah. normally. Yeah, like I changed the MBR. I'm going to try CSM wrap. This time, we're using a Vista external kernel ISO, formatting the USB to All legacy right. and CSM. Hopefully, fly. this ends up working. This and is literally using the last thing I would try. This is basically the last thing I can do to boot. If this doesn't work, this legacy This is a failed video. Now we're doing using all the NT light, NT light to slipstream stuff, stuff for install at whim. All right, guys, we are now done with the USB, so let's get it plugged in. Let's get it plugged. In. Here's the latitude. Let's get it plugged into a USB port. There we go. Open the lid. Press the power button. get to CSM wrap because of course this is now going to be legacy so we need CSM wrap to actually add a legacy compatibility layer because this is UFI class 3 so zero CSM wrap press escape for boot menu USB drive 
Look how glitchy this the Windows is loading file screen this is by the way. Look how messed up this shit is. Yep, it's like a super weird resolution. Everything's like one square. And <laughs> look at that, there's artifacts from the boot screen too, and yeah, everything just in one square. This is weird. <sighs> is it gonna do anything? There we go. And again, this isn't Windows Vista. This is just this is just the Windows 7 PE. It just uses the Vista wallpaper and logo. Oh my god, I need, oh, I need a product keyboard. All right. So the terms. Let's see if my NVMe will be detected. And yep, there we go. GPT, GPT. Yep, this is you have to be legacy. So let's format it. It's this format. Nope. I guess I'll use this part to for convert it to GPT. Then, I mean MBR. We have to come here to MBR now. This part. Sell this zero. Wait, this part. Alright, clean. No, con MBR. Alright, now it's gonna show. There we go. New partition, apply. I'll tag. Let's just close the command. Probably don't need that anymore. There we go. All right, let's see if this is gonna work now. All right, so now it's basically done. So after it restarts, you have to go back into the BIOS and select CSM wrap because obviously the normal BIOS is not gonna be able to boot this because it is a legacy MBR drive now. So every time it boots, you have to go through CSM wrap to make it work. Let's head to the boot menu. Okay, why is CSM wrap gone? What the hell happened? Well, I guess... Uh, I know why. Because it got wiped from the EFI partition. Yeah, the EFI partition did get wiped. That's why. Well, let's, add, let's just do it on the USB. We, could just, we can boot from it on the USB, so let's just do that. I believe Ventoy should let me just do that. Actually, no, don't use... I'm not going to use Ventoy, actually. I'm just going to... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. CSM wrap x 4 to EFI copy. Why the hell is my USB drive not showing anymore? What? All right, I just copied CSM up to the EFI portion of the USB drive, and that made the BIOS detect it. So now, CSM wrap the EFI finally made it to boot entry. Let's click it. Is it gonna work? CSM wrap. There we go. Let's see. Is it no? It's number two. Oh my gosh, this is so broken. What the hell is this? I don't I don't, I don't think this is going to work at all, but let's see. Like I don't think it's even worth trying this, but let's see what's going to what is going to do. They just restart. It just rebooted, fuck man. No. But we're going to get so far and are so close but so far. I don't think it's gonna end up working, guys. This has to be this is gonna have to be a scrapped video. I feel like. Let's just try this again. Reboot menu. How about safe mode, bro? This the screen is just so broken. Like, the text based stuff or whatever, just super super broken. If this doesn't work, then I don't think this is gonna work at all. This is literally our only. Yep, it didn't work. It didn't work. It just restarted. It just didn't work. Well, I have no clue what we could do now. There's literally... I don't think there's any other option left. We might just have to scrap this now. Alright, this time I'm going to try a real Windows Vista ISO that's unmodified and I'm going to slipstream the drivers myself. So, let's see if an unmodified one without any extended kernel will work. Just a normal vanilla Windows Vista. Hopefully this ends up actually working.
All right, guys. Well, that was all the attempts I tried. And, you know, Windows Vista just didn't really couldn't get in any environment. So we're just restoring Windows 10 now. I'm putting, putting back Windows 10 on here. And now next, up, we're going to be doing Hackintosh, Mac OS 26 Tahoe. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Be sure to let your comment. Um, give me some ideas in the comments. Maybe if you have things that I might be able to try, then help me out. But until then, thank you so much for watching this video. Let's have a comment. Peace out.